everyone and welcome back to our video series on IUPAC naming of organic compounds. In our previous video, we explored the IUPAC naming of organic compounds containing multiple functional groups, that is containing polyfunctional groups. In today's video, we will be exploring the IUPAC naming of alicyclic organic compounds. Alicyclic organic compounds are the compounds which contain rings of three or more carbon atoms. These are unique class of organic compounds that possess a ring structures. These rings are composed of carbon atoms only and may or may not contain double bonds. So, without further delay, let us get to the heart of the matter that is IUPAC naming of alicyclic organic compounds. Before going to explore the IUPAC naming of alicyclic compounds, let us recap the IUPAC naming structure of organic compounds once again here. The IUPAC name of an organic compound consists of three parts, root word, prefix and suffix. So let us study in detail about these parts. The first part is root word. So what is root word? The root word also known as the base name is the main part of the compound's name and provides information about the number of carbon atoms present in the parent chain. Next, prefix. A prefix is a term or group of letters added to the beginning of the compound's name to indicate the presence of substituents or other structural features. Next, suffix. A suffix is a term or group of letters added to the end of the compound's name to indicate the presence of a functional group or other specific structural features. Prefix again has two parts. You can see here primary prefix and secondary prefix. Root word. The root word is derived, the name of the root word is derived depending upon the number of carbon atoms present in the continuous longest carbon chain. Suffix also has two parts, primary suffix and secondary suffix. These parts again have several parts. So, in total, there are 11 parts in the IUPAC naming structure. Okay. And uh, secondary prefix has three parts. You can see here number, numerical designation, and halide or alkyl groups or secondary functional groups. And primary prefix under primary prefix, only one part is there that is. This part is used only for cyclic compounds. Next, number of carbon atoms. Primary suffix also has three parts, number, numerical designation, and nature of saturation. Secondary suffix also has three parts, number, numerical designation, and functional group. Let us study each one by one. First, numbers. Number prefix is simply called as the number. Here, this number tells about to which carbon atoms of the compound the substituent okay, or secondary grade functional groups are attached. So, 1, 2, 3, etc. Number prefixes are nothing but 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. Next, numerical designation, otherwise numerical prefix. When the same substituent 
is repeated twice, thrice, etc. are denoted by di, tri, tetra, etc. Okay. These are the numerical designations. Next, secondary prefix here. This tells about the second grade functional groups known as substituents. For example, halogens, alkyl groups, alkoxy groups. Okay, you see here halides, fluoro, chloro, bromo, iodo. Alkyl groups, methyl, ethyl, propyl, secondary grade functional groups. Okay, so when more than one functional groups are used in a compound, at that time only one functional group will be taken as the principal functional group and the remaining functional groups are considered as the substituents. So we discussed these things in our previous video about IUPAC naming of polyfunctional compounds. Next, there is only one primary prefix and it is used only for cyclic compound compounds and the name of the primary prefix is cyclo. Okay, so for the compounds having ring structures, then only this primary prefix will be used. Next, the root word is derived depending upon the number of the carbon atoms present in the continuous longest carbon chain known as parent chain. If the parent chain contains only one carbon atom, the root word is meth. If it contains two carbon atoms, the root word is eth. 3 carbon atoms, so prop, but, pent, hex, etc. like this. Okay. Next, let us go for the suffix. Suffix has two parts, primary suffix and secondary suffix. Primary suffix again has three parts. Number, numerical designation, nature of saturation. So here, number represents, otherwise denotes, to which carbon atoms of the compound multiple bonds are attached to. Okay, so numbers are 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, next to numerical designation or numerical prefix. When multiple bond is repeated twice or thrice, etc., are denoted by the numerical designations di, tri, tetra. Okay. Next, nature of saturation you can see here. If the parent chain contains only carbon, carbon, single bonds, the primary suffix is an. If it contains at least one double bond, then the primary suffix is e and e in. If it contains at least one triple bond, then the primary suffix is ain. Okay. Next, secondary suffix also has three parts again number, numerical designation, and functional group. See here. Here, number denotes to which carbon atoms in the parent chain the functional group is attached to. So, Number prefixes are nothing but 1, 2, 3, etc. And uh, numerical designations are di, tri, tetra. That is, if functional group is repeated twice, thrice, etc., the numerical designations we have to use are di, tri, tetra, etc. Okay. Next, functional groups. So, these are the Functional groups here, if only carbon and hydrogen atoms are present in the compound, then the functional group is E. If OH functional group is there, the name of the functional group is OL. Okay, so depending upon the nature of the functional group, we get the class of the organic compounds. Okay, 
So this is all about the IUPAC naming structure. Okay. What are alicyclic compounds? See here. Alicyclic compounds are the compounds which contain rings of three or more carbon atoms. So here are the IUPAC naming rules for alicyclic compounds. These are named by the adding the prefix cyclo to the name of alkane or alkene or alkyne having the same number of carbon atoms as in the rings. If the prefix cyclo that is the primary prefix cyclo is added to alkanes we get cycloalkanes like uh, if uh, primary prefix cyclo is added to alkenes we get cycloalkenes similarly cycloalkynes okay so let us see here some examples of naming alicyclic compounds see here this is an alicyclic compound having three carbon atoms in the ring structure okay so the root word the number of carbon atoms present in the ring are three so the root word is prop primary suffix in this ring only carbon carbon single bonds are there so the primary suffix is an and uh, there is no functional group attached to any carbon atom in the ring so the, there is no secondary suffix here and here primary prefix is cyclo okay so the name of this alicyclic compound is cyclopropane next one more example let us see here four carbon atoms are forming a closed chain here isn't it so the root word is but because four carbon atoms are there in this ring and only carbon carbon single bonds are present in this closed chain so the primary suffix is an there is no secondary suffix because no functional group has been attached okay and primary prefix here is cyclo so the name of this alicyclic compound is cyclobutane next one more example in this five carbon atoms are there so the root word is pent primary suffix is an and primary prefix is cyclo so the name of this alicyclic compound is cyclopentane next uh, example 4 you can see here in this ring six carbon atoms are present so the root word is hex primary suffix only carbon carbon single bonds are there so the primary suffix is in and all these carbon atoms are forming a closed chain otherwise ring structure so the primary sub prefix is cyclo name of this alicyclic compound is cyclohexane next example 5 see here here a ring is there carbon atoms ring is there and there is a double bond between these two carbon atoms so in this uh, ring three carbon atoms are there so the root word is prop and in this ring structure there is one carbon carbon double bond so the primary suffix is in e n e and uh, 
primary prefix is cyclo. So the name of this alicyclic compound is cyclopropene. Next example 6. See here. In this uh, closed chain of carbon atom, that is in this ring, there are four carbon atoms. The root word is but. And there is a double bond between these two carbon atoms. So the primary suffix is in and the primary prefix is cyclo. So the name of this alicyclic organic compound is cyclobutene. Next example 7. The same way the root word is five carbon atoms are there in this ring. So the root word is pent. Primary suffix double bond is there. So it is in primary prefix cyclo cyclopentene. Next example 8. Here in this uh, alicyclic uh, compound, six carbon atoms are formed a ring. So in this ring, six carbon atoms are there means the root word is hex. Primary suffix, there is a double bond between these two carbon atoms. Okay, so the primary suffix is in. Next, primary prefix is cyclo. So the name of this alicyclic organic compound is cyclohexene. Next, example 9. In this, five carbon atoms are there in this ring. So the root word is pent primary suffix. There is a triple bond between these two carbon atoms. So it is ein primary prefix is cyclo. So cyclopentine. Okay. Generally, we use geometrical figures to represent alicyclic compounds. See here, representation of alicyclic compounds by simple geometrical figures. You can see here, the name of this alicyclic compound is cyclopropane and it can be represented by a geometrical figure like this and at each corner there is one carbon atom cyclopropane next the name of this alicyclic compound just now we have seen it it is cyclobutane and it is represented by the geometrical figure this one okay so it is cyclobutane at each corner of this geometrical figure, one carbon atom is present. Similarly, it is cyclopentane is represented by this geometrical figure. Next, cyclohexane is represented by this geometrical figure. Next, see here cyclopropene. It is represented by this geometrical figure. Okay, double bond is there between these two carbon atoms. Cyclopropene. Next, here cyclobutene. It is represented by this geometrical figure. Okay, next, here you can see this uh, name of this alicyclic compound we have seen just now it is cyclopentene. It is represented by a geometrical figure like this cyclopentene. Okay, double bond is there between these two carbon atoms. Next, cyclohexene represented by 
this geometrical figure. Next, uh, cyclopentane. It is represented by the geometrical figure like this. Here, it contains uh, carbon carbon triple bond that has been shown in this geometrical figure here. Cyclopentine. Next one, cyclohexane. This is the representation of cyclohexane. Okay. Next, cycloalkanes with substituents. That means when alicyclic compounds contain substituents, then how they are provided IUPAC names that we are going to learn in the first instance, I am going to take up cycloalkanes containing substituents. Next, I will take up cycloalkenes and cycloalkynes containing substituents. Cycloalkanes in the case of cycloalkanes containing substituents, the numbering of carbon atoms is done in such a way that the substituent which comes first in the alphabetical order is given the lowest possible number provided it does not violate the lowest set of locants rule. The same rule that is the lowest set of locants rule we even used in case of acyclic compounds, organic compounds and the same rule here also we are using for alicyclic compounds. So when cycloalkanes contain substituents, at that time we have to number the carbon ring in such a way that the substituent which comes first in the alphabetical order is to be given the lowest possible number provided it should not violate the lowest set of locants rule. Here locant means the number that locates the position of the substituent is known as locant. You can see here by this example you can understand. Okay. This is a cycloalkane containing two methyl groups. So here I start numbering from this carbon onwards. I can give numbering either in clockwise or anti-clockwise starting from this carbon or from this carbon. So I start from this carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So see here. Here, one is the locant, that is the number that locate the position of this substitute, substituent. And here, two is the locant. Okay. So, let us give the numbering starting from this carbon in anti-clockwise. So, which way of numbering is correct? In order to know that, I am going to use the lowest set of locants rule. You see here, set 1 locants clockwise, you see here, when clockwise numbering is taken, locants are 1 comma 2. In case of set 2 anti-clockwise, the locants are 1 comma, see here, 1 comma 5. Okay, so numbering also has been shown in different colors clockwise and anti-clockwise numberings are given different colors so we have to compare these two sets term by term the first terms are same then we have to compare the second terms here 2 is lower than 5 2 is less than 5 so at the first point of difference 2 is less than 5. That means set 1 locants are correct. So the numbering given clockwise is the correct way of numbering. Okay. Now root word in this cycloalkane 5 carbon atoms are there 
so root word is bent primary suffix only single bonds are there in there is no secondary suffix and primary suffix is cyclo secondary prefixes that is substituents methyl so first and second carbon atoms are bearing two substituents so the name of this cyclo alkane is 1 comma 2 dimethyl cyclopentane 1 comma 2 dimethyl cyclopentane okay here is example 2 this is a cyclo alkane containing two substituents methyl group is there and ethyl group is there and the numbering of the carbon atoms in the ring is done in such a way that the substituent which comes first in the alphabetical order is given the lowest possible number so for that reason i will start uh, giving the numbering from this carbon both in clockwise and in anti clockwise numbering will be done later i will check which way of numbering is correct by using the lowest set of locants rule so here numbering has been done in clockwise next numbering is done anti clockwise so which way of numbering is correct to know that we have to use the lowest set of locants rule set 1 clockwise locants are 1 comma 5 set 2 anti clockwise locants are 1 comma 3 so if you compare these two sets term by term at the first point of difference 3 is less than 5 the first two terms are equal then we have to compare the next terms so at the first point of difference 3 is less than 5 so anti clockwise numbering is correct than the clockwise numbering okay so in this uh, cyclo alkane ring six carbon atoms are there so the root word is hex primary suffix is an primary prefix is cyclo and two substituents are there ethyl and methyl so the name of this cyclo alkane is 1 ethyl 3 methyl cyclohexane 1 ethyl 3 methyl cyclohexane next example 3 this is a cyclo alkane containing three substituents two methyl groups and one ethyl group in these three groups ethyl comes first in the alphabetical order so the carbon atom attached to this ethyl group should be given the lowest possible number so let us give the numbering starting from the carbon atom attached to ethyl group isn't it so here i start from this carbon onwards first i will give clockwise numbering then anti clockwise numbering next anti clockwise numbering okay and uh, another way of numbering i will start from this methyl methyl group attached to this carbon so here the num the numbering has been done in three ways the which way of numbering is correct in order to know that i will use the lowest set of locants rule set 1 clockwise shown in yellow color 
one three six the locants are one that is first carbon atom is attached ethyl group next three third carbon atom is attached methyl group and the sixth carbon atom is attached another methyl group so these are the locants next set to two shown in green color set to two anti clockwise numbering the locants are 1 comma 2 comma 5 next set to 3 shown in different color here pink color you can see the locants are 1 comma 2 comma 4 if you compare these three sets term by term in all the three sets first terms are same okay and if you compare the second terms here these two are equal and it is different that is these two are less than 3 so we can neglect otherwise ignore set 1 at the first point of difference we can neglect this and we have to take these two sets into consideration now i am comparing these two terms so 4 is less than 5 at the first point of difference that means set 3 that is clockwise here shown in pink color numbering is correct starting from this methyl group okay so this is the correct way of numbering root word hex primary suffix an primary prefix cyclo and substituents are ethyl and methyl okay so 2 ethyl 1 comma 4 dimethyl cyclohexane 2 ethyl 1 comma 4 dimethyl cyclohexane this is the iupac name of this cyclo alkane containing substituents next example for see here so first we have to number the carbon atoms in the ring so i start from ethyl 1 2 3 4 5 numbering is done in clockwise starting from ethyl group next here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so which way of numbering is correct let us check by using the lowest set of locants rule set 1 clockwise shown in yellow color 1 comma 3 comma 3 that is third carbon atom is attached to methyl groups next set 2 shown in green color 1 comma 1 and 3 if you compare these two sets of locants term by term at the first point of difference one is less than 3 the first terms are equal then go for the comparing second terms one is less than 3 so at the first point of difference one is less than 3 that is numbering given in green color is the correct way of numbering okay so root word is hex primary suffix an primary prefix cyclo and two substituents are there ethyl and methyl groups so 3 ethyl 1 comma 1 dimethyl cyclohexane we have to write the substituents according to alphabetical order only so for that reason ethyl comes first hence i am writing ethyl group at first so 3 ethyl 1 comma 1 dimethyl cyclohexane okay next cyclo alkenes and cyclo alkynes with substituents 
when cycloalkenes and cycloalkynes contain substituents then how they are provided iupac names that we are going to see now cycloalkenes and cycloalkynes in the case of cycloalkenes and cycloalkynes the numbering of double or triple bond is done as 192 the direction is so chosen as to give lowest numbers to the substituents see here example 1 this is a cycloalkane because it contains double bond and uh, while numbering the carbon atoms in the ring we have to give the numbers 1 and 2 to the carbon atoms attached to the double bond okay so here numbering can be done from here clockwise or from here anti clockwise and which way of numbering is correct later we have to check by using the lowest set of locants rule so first i am numbering the carbon atoms in the ring starting from here because the carbon atoms attached to the double bond must be given 192 serially so 1 2 3 4 5 6 next numbering can be given from here onwards also okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so which way of numbering is correct we have to use the lowest set of locants rule let us check here set 1 clockwise shown in yellow color 6 okay so the locant is 6 when numbering is done clockwise set to anti clockwise the locant is 3 that is third carbon atom is attached methyl group so if you compare these two locants 3 is less than 6 isn't it we have to give the numbers to the carbon atoms in such a way that lowest numbers are to be assigned to the carbon atoms bearing substituents so here 3 is less than 6 so this way of numbering is correct anti clockwise way of numbering is correct okay so root word is hex primary suffix because this ring contains one double bond so it is in next primary prefix cyclo secondary prefix that is substituent is methyl so third carbon atom is bearing methyl group 3 methyl 3 methyl cyclohexene 3 methyl cyclohexene here is another example this is a cycloalkyne because it contains triple bond first we have to give the numbers to the carbon atoms in the ring i already told you the carbon atoms bearing double or triple bond must be assigned 1 and 2 okay so numbering can be done starting from here 1 2 3 4 or for or starting from here from this carbon 1 2 3 4 see here here 1 2 3 4 numbering has been done in clockwise next anti clockwise starting from this carbon onwards so which way of numbering is correct to know that we have to use the lowest set of locants rule set one clockwise locant if numbering is done clockwise the locant is 3 that is the third carbon atom is bearing 
द सब्सटूटियंट मेथाइल ग्रुप ओके नेक्स्ट इफ द नंबरिंग इज डन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस कार्बन द लोकेंट इज फोर सो इफ यू कंपेयर दीज टू टर्म्स दट इज लोकेंट थ्री इज लेस देन फोर दैट मीन्स द क्लॉक वाइज नंबरिंग इज द राइट वे ऑफ करेक्ट वे ऑफ नंबरिंग ओके रूट वर्ड इज ब्यूट बिकॉज फोर कार्बन आइटम्स आर देर प्राइमरी सफिक्स बिकॉज ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इज देर वन ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इज देर सो इट इज आइन प्राइमरी प्रिफिक्स साइक्लो सेकेंडरी प्रिफिक्स मेथाइल सो थ्री मेथाइल साइक्लो ब्यूटाइन थ्री मेथाइल साइक्लो ब्यूटाइन next example 3 this is a cycloalkene containing one substituent ethyl substituent is there here and double bond is there so it is cycloalkene and we have to give the numbering to the ring starting from here in anti clockwise or starting from here in clockwise because the carbon atoms attached to the double bond must be assigned one and two numbers only so here i am giving the numbers in anti clockwise and here clockwise numbering which way of numbering is correct let us check by using the lowest set of locants rule set one clockwise if we consider clockwise numbering the locant is 3 that is third carbon atom is bearing this substituent set to anti clockwise if we take anti clockwise numbering into account then fifth carbon atom is bearing the substituent so if you compare these two terms 3 is less than 5 so clockwise numbering is the correct way of numbering and the anti clockwise numbering is the wrong way of numbering okay and in this ring five carbon atoms are there so it is pent root word is pent primary suffix is in why because it contains double bond primary prefix is cyclo and there is only one substituent that is ethyl so third carbon atom is bearing ethyl group so 3 ethyl cyclopentene 3 ethyl cyclopentene okay so that's all for this video in the next coming video you will be explored in alicyclic compounds containing functional groups thank you